Hey guys, so today I thought I would talk a little bit about a couple new Casa RX products that I'm very excited about. Their Dual Essence and their Vitamin C Serum. Their Dual Essence, I actually ordered this from Style Korean and it came here like the fastest I've ever had anything shipped here. Sephora can't even match that. This is coming from far away, so... Anyway, once I saw this online, I knew I had to order it right away because I was really excited about it because it contains a few of my favorite ingredients, snail mucin, and niacinamide is also pretty high up on that list. Although I'm a little nervous because it comes in one of those dual chamber containers, which I'm just not good at using those. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, so in one one of the containers, you've got some of the snail mucin, and then the other container, you've got some hydrating ingredients, niacinamide, butylene glycol, metafoam seed oil, macadamia seed oil, and actually it's really nice. So there you go. Comes out and it kind of mixes it together a little bit, and it applies pretty much as easily as their uh, snail essence, essence, serum essence. Uh, but it's really nicely hydrated and absorbs moderately quickly, enough where if my skin is feeling super dry in the morning, I can go ahead and use it in my morning routine. I like to use it right after I use my toner in the morning. Usually I rinse my face off in the morning and not wash it. And then I use a good toner, which helps to get any residue or anything left over. And then I have a pretty minimal morning routine, usually a serum, a vitamin C serum and then sunscreen and then foundation. I try and keep it minimal in the morning and then I go all out in the evening. But this one has fit in very nicely in my routine. I will say my skin, uh, the first few times I used it, my skin seemed to be a little bit on the clogging side. Although now that I've been using it for several days straight, about a week straight, now it seemed to uh, accept it a little bit more. I'm not sure if it was the metal foam seed oil or the macadamia seed oil, but I think it was one of those two. I have a feeling it was the macadamia seed oil, but now that I've been using it for several days, I haven't had any uh, issues at all. So I've got the snail secretion filtrate, butylene glycol, niacinamide, uh, a couple slip ingredients, betaine, panthenol, the metal foam seed oil, sunflower seed oil, uh, elantlin, uh, then we've got the macadamia seed oil, sodium hyaluronate, that could be the culprit too. Uh, and then a few um, other ingredients, and then uh, argan oil as well. So I will say if you're very acne prone, I would be a little bit cautious using this one, and especially when you start up with it right away. Just start out slowly and listen to your skin because some of those ingredients can be very iffy for acne prone skin. And for me, the sodium hyaluronic in there is usually uh, an issue, but uh, overall, this is mostly the snail filtrate in there, so you're getting a lot of that. Uh, so there you can see it takes a while to absorb, but it does soak in uh, faster than like their cream. So very nice product. I'm very excited about this one. And their vitamin C serum, which took forever to get to me from CosRx. They've been on a rampage lately, so they introduced this. They've got a new uh, retinol serum and a new vitamin E product that came out. So I'll definitely be picking up those too. Their retinol has been out of stock for a while, but hopefully I'll have a chance to pick it up. But anyway, their vitamin C serum, this is what I was most excited about. And it's got 23% uh, sorbic acid in there. And then it's got 57% propolis. Propolis is great for your skin. If you have very acne prone skin, propolis is a great ingredient to add. If you have very sensitive skin or sensitized skin, propolis has helped, especially my neck, which gets super irritated a lot. Propolis, adding that into my routine has helped so much. So I highly recommend, if you don't choose this one, pick up something else with propolis and give it a try because it can help with so many different uh, issues. Acne prone skin, uh, moisture loss, hydration, uh, your skin barrier, things like that. It's a great ingredient, definitely recommend adding in your, your routine. So this one, I'm enjoying it. So it's got not a super long ingredient list, obviously the vitamin C and the propolis. And then uh, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got a black chokeberry, which is a fruit extract, which is very high in vitamin C and antioxidants. 
Then we've got C buckthorn extract, which is another ingredient that's naturally very high in vitamin C and antioxidants. Uh, we've got butylene glycol, niacinamide, uh, sodium hyaluronate in there. So overall, not a super long green list, but I do really like this one as well. And I've already been asked the pH by several of you, so I thought I would just test it for you guys in the video so you can see what the pH is. Because for vitamin C to be readily absorbed by your skin, uh, it really needs to be in a specific pH range, typically at least below 4, uh, the closer to 3.5 or 3, the better. And this one, for me, I found it to be pretty close to uh, 3.5. Can you see that? There you go. So it's in that good range. And uh, so here we go. Here's a couple drops of it. And this one took two months to get to me from Casa Rex. So, uh, but this one has a really nice texture. It's pretty watery, which I like. A lot of vitamin C serums can be kind of uh, thick or almost like oily in texture, or some of them are like a thick cream. I really like like a light water texture. That's what I really liked about their uh, Triple C Liquid Lightning Vitamin C Serum. It was very watery, so it absorbed pretty quickly. It wasn't overly hydrating, and it fit into almost any routine of mine seamlessly without any issues. And I like the same thing about this one, and the fact that they added a ton of propolis. Uh, it's kind of took out one of extra product out of my routine, and I can just put this one in and not have to worry about a separate propolis product uh, in and of itself. So uh, alcohol-free, no fragrance, both of these alcohol-free and no fragrance in either of these, both rather affordable. I think I got a set where you got four bottles of this, and I think it was like 50 bucks, something around there. It wasn't very expensive, although... When you buy four bottles at once, it's a little stressful because I can be able to use them before they go bad. I don't know. So I'm going to have to uh, give some for a friend to use because I don't want them to go to waste. I, I just can't handle that thought. So anyway, I am loving these two new products. Obviously, this one took a little bit, several days before I was fully sold on it. But now that I'm my skin's used to it, I'm sold on it and I'm loving this one as well as their vitamin C. So anyway, I just wanted to fill you guys in and I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try either of these or this one that came so fast. I don't know. I've been doing really good lately with products like <clears throat> accidentally getting them before they're supposed to be sold. Sometimes if you just watch an obsess over product, like it'll say coming soon and they'll be launched accidentally. And then the next day it'll like be not available. And then somehow I ordered it within that window. It's happened a few times. Actually, probably like maybe around 10 times. So I don't know. Sometimes it's a lucky product. Sometimes not so lucky. But anyway, so those are my thoughts. I want to hear from you guys. If you've tried those, <clears throat> excuse me, and what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. Love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.